While I was researching the last video, I stumbled upon a really old version of FNAF Boys. I'm talking about before of version 1.0. Today we'll be going over this version which I'll be calling the Alpha version which was released on November 22nd, 2014. So let's get into it. To start off, the first difference is the title screen. There's no title, no Freddy with sunglasses. There's just new game, continue and shut down. Pressing new game, the game just simply starts. There's no newspaper, no night two or three options. Just are you ready for Freddy? And text on the screen saying that Freddy wants to have a night of debauchery and that Freddy needs to destroy all of the cameras. First, we'll start off with the obvious difference, the pizzeria. The show stage is in the top right corner instead of the middle. There's pillars. The Freddy and Friends poster is what I'm assuming a stock sign from the RPG maker. And there's this area here, which is actually a table. In the back room, the room is much longer. There's no table. There's boxes in the bottom left corner. Bonnie is in a different place. There's cupboards and a piano that plays the FNAF jump scare sound. Just like a real piano. In the restrooms, the main area is huge and the restrooms are tiny. The male and female restrooms are swapped. There's a mirror and the puppet's music box plays all the time whether or not the puppet is in the restrooms. In Pirate's Cove, the room is slightly bigger than the final game. Foxy's curtains are different and spread through the entire wall compared to the final game. And there's pillars on the left and right walls. And there's these things. In the supply closet, crates are spread throughout the room. The box with the kitchen key is on the bottom left corner rather than the top right corner. The camera is in the left middle rather than the bottom left corner. The west and east halls are much bigger than the final game and has stuff all over the place. The west and east hall corners are huge and has stuff all over the place as well. Next, I'll go over smaller things noticeable in the alpha version. First off, the static on the screen along with the pizzeria map, power difficulty meter and the record thing didn't exist yet. The lighting is different, the animatronics look different, Foxy doesn't sing when you enter Pirate's Cove, Foxy's curtain is always closed and you can interact with Foxy multiple times. There's no toy animatronics. And finally, the Get Crunk bottle doesn't spawn a vending machine if you spam it multiple times. If you haven't noticed yet, Balloon Boy isn't here. My guess is that Balloon Boy sprite hasn't been made yet, and the hole in the wall was used until a sprite is made. Other than the sprite, or lack thereof, there are differences related to Balloon Boy. First, Balloon Boy is unlocked everywhere at the beginning of the game. The Inhale my dong enragement child voice line doesn't play except for the supply closet balloon boy. There's no extra large pizzas or sodas, no birthday presents or cakes. There are differences with the prices and recovery amounts with pizzas and sodas. When you need to buy Bonnie's head from Balloon Boy, you can buy it multiple times which you can equip which gives you the highest defense in the shield category. There are differences with the combat and the party hats. The combat sound effects are different. The battle backgrounds are different. Escaping battles likely depend on how much agility you have. So if you encounter the Gamma or Omega party hats if you're low leveled, it's nearly impossible to escape since there's no max amount of failed escape attempts. The Omega Party Hats use the picture that is used for the Beta Party Hats from FNAF Boys 3. The Omega Party Hats sometimes drop an item called Doritos that acts the same as an extra large pizza. And Alpha Party Hats drops a Platinum Hook instead of a Kingly Hook, which I assume is a mistake. Now, camera differences. The Engage the camera mother text box doesn't have the difficulty meter yet. The cameras use a different picture. They don't have a death animation and Golden Freddy is the West Hall corner camera. 
which I'm guessing it's because the Golden Freddy poster is in the West Hall corner in Five Nights at Freddy's. Next, the puppet. The puppet has a different picture than in the final game. He has 120,000 HP and 999 attack, compared to the final game which is 80,000 HP and 600 attack. The puppet's timer is in the top right corner and doesn't have the word puppet above it. The puppet doesn't have a sprite and you wind the puppet in the top right corner of the male restroom. Now it's time to face the puppet. Ha! Jokes on everyone, including myself. The puppet is broken. Well anyway, we'll come back to that later. For skill differences, we have the Toreador March. The 1.6 version reduces the Toreador March's speed by 2000 to make it so Freddy goes last. And the attack animation is different which is likely a mistake because the correct animation is rung above. Bunny Hop has a 4% chance to stun. Backup Bash is extremely underpowered in the alpha version because it has a 10% chance of hitting and has a formula of 999. Compared to the latest version which has an 8% chance of hitting and has a formula of 25,000. Guitar Smash gets rid of all of the guitars you have where in the 1.6 version it gets rid of the guitar you have equipped. Fearless Flight has some changes which to be honest I have no idea what they mean. Caffeine Revival revives one of your party members for around 100 HP, where in the 1.6 version, it revives them for around 250 HP. And Speed Share does pretty much the same thing, except in the alpha version, everyone takes a bit of damage. Since Golden Freddy played the role of the West Hall corner camera, we'll see if he's in the office as well. Oh well, what a shame. So I'm going to apply this day one patch to see if the puppet in Golden Freddy works. So long story short, the office doesn't work but the puppet does. And from what it looks like with the lack of cakes, backup bash being weak, and the puppet having max luck, which basically makes him immune to poison and paralysis, the puppet is likely impossible in this version. So we're just going to go to the final part, which is the difference in the names of things. First, we'll start with the pause menu. We have Freddy, Ursine animatronic, Bonnie, Lagomorph animatronic, Chica, Avian animatronic, and Foxy, Volpine animatronic, which that extra stuff got removed. Formation was changed to party order, but got removed entirely in one of the later updates. Game end was changed to end game. Equipment was changed to parts. The head and body endoskeletons are labelled as Mark 1 to 5, which was changed to head and body endoskeletons A to E. Headgear and body gear was changed to head and body. Weapon was changed to hand. Accessory was changed to fuel. Fight was changed to engage. Escape was changed to run. Attack was changed to scream. And special was changed to skills. And that's the alpha version of FNAF boys. So I have a confession to make. There's two old versions of FNAF boys, not one. This version released four days later on November 26, 2014. I'll be calling this the beta version. Now let's go over this one as well. First, the title screen is close to the final game. Except the title of the game goes across Freddy's face and has a different font. There's still no newspaper and still no night 2 and 3 and there's still a text saying what you need to do. We'll now quickly go over the small differences. There's now static on the screen but it plays at a slower speed than in the final game. There's still no map, power difficulty meter and record thing. The animatronics have the same sprites as the alpha version. The lighting is different here as well. And a weapon called El Jafar is obtainable, which gets replaced with the dragon dildo in the final game. The pizzeria looks similar to the final game. There's a few differences. The show stage is different. The show stage camera is in the bottom left compared to the final game where it's in the top left. The floor tiles are black and white. There's no party hats on the tables. 
This stuff hasn't been added yet. And the Freddy and Friends poster hasn't been added yet. In the back room, the piano is still there. There's no heads on the shelves yet. There's a collection of Freddy's collection. And the bony head isn't on the table. In the restrooms, the male and female restroom signs haven't been added yet. There's boxes in the bottom left corner, which was there in the 1.0 version but got removed in one of the later updates. And the checkboard padding on the walls don't go to the ground. In Pirate's Cove, the curtain is red instead of purple. The camera is in a different place. The pillars are still here. And these things are still here. There's no difference in the supply closet. The rest in these tools have no differences. And the rest in these tall corners have no differences as well. The Balloon Boy sprite has been added in this version. This sprite is the same as the sprite in the 1.0 version and was changed sometime in the future to feature the Sorry I'm Swag hat. The sprite used to fight the party hats in the Unlocked Balloon Boy is a slime instead of a party hat. Cakes and birthday presents have been added and sodas have the final MP recovery amount but it still shows the alpha version's recovery amount. The combat sound effects are mostly the same as in the final game except for the death sound effect. And the Omega Party hat still used the same picture as the alpha version. The cameras have the picture used in the final game and they still don't have a death animation. The toy animatronics have been added in this version. There are a few differences with them. All the toy animatronics appear on the show stage rather than being spread out in the other rooms. Their sprites are a weird smudge thing. And interacting with them plays a breathing sound with this text for each animatronic and then the fight starts. There are stat changes between the beta version and the 1.6 version. In the beta version, Toy Freddy has an extra 10,000 HP, an extra 100 attack, an extra 250 defense, and he also has an extra 350 agility. Toy Bonnie has an extra 10,000 HP, his attack and defense is the same, and he has an extra 210 agility. Toy Chica has an extra 5,000 HP, an extra 100 attack and defense, and an extra 275 agility. And Mangle's HP is the same, but she has an extra 200 defense and an extra 250 agility. The puppet has a sprite in this version. His sprite is to the left by one tile and can only be interacted with from the right for some reason. The music box doesn't play in this version. The puppet has the same stats as the last version. He is more beatable in this version, but still probably impossible. And he has the final battle picture. For skills, the Toriador March's animation has been corrected. Backup Bash has the final damage formula, but the chance of hitting is 5% which was later changed to 8%. And Fearless Flight has the final change which I still don't know what it means. Golden Freddy works properly in this version, and there's a few differences between this version and the final version. Golden Freddy has an extra 100 defense and an extra 80 agility compared to the 1.6 version. Golden Freddy doesn't have the Omega Party hat and he turns the light song in the second turn. After defeating Golden Freddy, the end plays without credits and with different music and all of the other party members are laid behind Freddy. And finally, we're going to quickly compare the game changes between the alpha version and the beta version. Game end has been changed to end game, and attack is changed to scream, and then the game got released on December 2nd 2014, and the rest is history. That's all of the changes that I could find from these old versions of the game. I would do a comparison with the 1.0 version, but the download link in the original post doesn't work anymore, and I can't find an archive of it. But if you know where to find the 1.0 version, Please let me know. Engage the subscribe button, motherfucker. Oh, Thank. And we'll probably won't get another update, getting other updates, getting other updates. Awkward.